All right, welcome back everyone. We are now on step five of solving the cube. We're at the very last stage where we've got the only thing left to do is solve these edge pieces. We've done the first two layers, the corners in the last layer. Now we're just left with these edge pieces. And you'll see that I'm pretty much done here. I've really, I'm really one move away from solving it. Uh, yours might not be. You, you, you might be in another situation where Let's see if I can find one over here in my st stash of puzzles. There's one. You might be in a situation where you've got a bunch of your edge pieces all flipped and in the wrong spots. That's fine. However we are, we'll work on getting the solution to any configuration in that last layer. Now we're only going to use two move sequences. The first move sequence is this edge three cycle that moves three edges around. And what are the three edges? Well, if you look below the video, you'll see the edge three cycle listed there, and it's cycling these three edges. Again, I've just referred to below the video. Uh, that means that I'm assuming that you're watching this video on my website and these as embedded videos rather than on YouTube itself. If you're not and you're on YouTube, then just go to the description below this video and click on the link to my website, and that'll take you to the page where this video is listed along with the move sequences that we're using in pictorial form. So we're going to do a three cycle. I think it's a really nice three cycle because it's a really quick one that allows us to cycle three edges. The way we cycle three edges, it'll be the two in the front and the one on the upper layer in the back, is we throw the middle slice layer up, we double tap the top, we throw the middle slice layer down, and we double tap the top and that has moved these three around. We do it again, and it's advanced them once more, and we do it one last time, and it sends them back to home again. So that's a move sequence that we're going to use to cycle those three edge pieces around. Now you may be looking at this saying, well, let's, let's go to work on the one that I've been working on. You may say, well, that's great and all, but the edge pieces you need to cycle are all in the up layer, here, here, and here. That one's already in the proper spot. I don't even want to touch that one. And that's absolutely correct. So what we do is we move this piece we want to affect down there and then do the three cycle. So this is the orange green piece. It's gonna go here temporarily, and I'm gonna wanna send it up to this location here. If you look at the three cycle as listed on the website, you'll see that that three cycle is sending things around this way. So it drops that one up top down in the front, and this one sends it around back. We actually want it to go in the opposite direction. We want it to go this way. So how do we do that? Well, we can do that move sequence in reverse. So instead of doing the middle slice, the M and then U twice, and then M inverse, and then U twice again, we start with the U move. We'll go U twice, and then M, and then U twice, and then M inverse. And that moved this piece, the green orange one, around back, and this one around front, and that one up. So we'll do it again. And again, that advanced it once more in this direction here, around that way. We'll do it one more time. And that restored them all. So that's the one we're going to want to do here. So I want to do this first. I want to take that piece, send it down there, and now do that three cycle. So I use the up move first, middle slice, up again middle slice, and then restore that move that brought that piece down here, and we're solved. So as I said, my puzzle was one move away from the solve state, so that's not much fun because yours might be a little bit further away. So let's go ahead and do this a few more times. So I'm looking at this puzzle going, okay, really none of the pieces are in their right locations. So how do I get them in their right locations? Well, I pick 
any three. So the one that's over here is not going to be touched. So I pick any three, these three here. That piece is going to move down here. I'm going to eventually want it to go up here. So I do this setup move where now I'm in a perfect location where I can now affect these three pieces with that three cycle that's listed on the site. This three cycle is going to rotate them in this direction. I want to do the inverse. I want to send them in the opposite direction. So I'm going to do the inverse of that three cycle and read it backwards and do everything in reverse. So a U squared move, well the inverse is a U squared move because whether you turn twice this way or twice this way, it's the same thing. So we'll do the U, double U move first, then the middle slice, then a double U move, and then the middle slice. And then I'll undo that setup move that brought the piece that was here down here. I've got to send it back. And now when I scan around, I see that's in the right spot. Oh, all the other three are not. Okay, so this one needs to go there. So I'll do my setup move, which brings it down here. Now I need to cycle these three. So I do my W move, send it up, W move, send it down, and then undo that setup move. And now all the pieces are in their right locations. They're just not in their proper orientations. I now need to flip them. And it's nice that all of them are unflipped because it means we get extra practice on doing the flips. So how do we do the edge flips? Well, the edge flip listed shows us how to flip these two edges. So we're going to want to flip these two. And then if we rotate the puzzle, we'll then flip these two. So we're going to do this twice. Now, you'll look out of all the move sequences that I've listed, all four of them, this edge flip is the longest one. And you may look at that saying, there's no way I'm going to remember that. And again, it's not about remembering or memorization. It's about understanding what's happening here. I've tried to make these move sequences so that you understand where each twist is really coming from. So this edge flip is going to really illustrate this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip one edge. I'm going to do all the work I can possibly do to flip only that edge and leave everything else in the up layer untouched. I don't want anything else to be touched in the up layer, just flipping that one. Of course, the cost of that is it's going to be I completely screw up the bottom, but I'm happy with that temporarily. I just need to have short term memory here. What is my sequence of moves that I use to flip this? So what I do is I ride the middle slice. I think of this as an elevator as well. This middle slice elevator comes down and then my piece gets off the elevator and then my elevator goes back up. And much like the elevator I used to twist corners earlier on, um, uh, earlier on, not our edge, our corner twisting algorithm, but the one we used much earlier on where we wanted to bring them up to in step two, where we wanted to stick them in the right spot in the upper layer, we used an elevator to squish to twist a corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this underneath the elevator and I'm squishing it and now it's way back here so now I'm going to bring it around squishing it actually flipped it so I'm going to ride the elevator back up and now it's been flipped so what happened here was I used the middle slice layer elevator if you want to think of it that way I used the elevator twice down up down up so I'm going to do this in reverse just so we see what happens if I do it backwards I'm going to send it down Remember, the last thing I did before I brought the elevator up was I had to bring it around from back, the back here. So I'm going to send it around to the back, bring the elevator up. That's the unsquishing part now. Send it off to the side, bring the elevator down, pick it up, send it back up. So I did that whole sequence in reverse, which then flipped this, and it restored everything else. So let's do it one more time. Send it down, elevator down, off the elevator, elevator up. Slide underneath get squished by the elevator, now get on it, and go back up. That flipped it, messed up the bottom. To unflip it, we already saw it restores it, so instead of unflipping that one, I'm going to unflip this one. So I'm going to bring that over. Now I'm going to reverse the whole elevator sequence and the squishing part. So I'm going to send the middle slice down. The move I did just before this 
in that first part of the sequence brought this from around back. So I'm going to have to send it around back. Unsquish it. Hide it in the side. Elevator down. Load it up. Send it back up. That unflipped that one. Undo the move that brought it over there. And now we've Flip these two. So let's go ahead and do it again on these two. So I'm going to bring it down, hide it, send the elevator up, move it underneath, squish it. That'll send it around back, bring it around front, front, and then load it up top again. And then undo the sequence here. So let's see it in action. Elevator down, hide to the side, elevator up. Move it underneath, squish it, bring it around, load it in, send it up top undo the sequence for this one. Bring it down, send it around back, unsquish it, now hide it in the side, load it up, send it up top, bring it back to where it started from, and we are done. So that's it for solving the puzzle. Again, this was a beginner solution. There was only four moves we used. Um, even though it's a beginner solution, you know, the, the puzzle is difficult in and of itself. So if, if you walk away from this going, I still don't completely get it, keep practicing. Watch some of the videos over again and keep practicing and you will get it. All right, good luck to you and thanks for watching.